You know Sharice as one of our beautiful team members here in our free group. And in fact, before we did the challenge, she was the one running the free group for you. She's the one welcoming you in, saying hello, answering your questions. She's the one that stays behind when all of our preschool all-stars leave the building. <laughs> and of course, she also is in preschool all-stars, but she does stay behind to help and support this free group, albeit very in a small way because you are still running your own preschools. But before we get there, let's dive back in and let's share your story. Where were you at before you met me? Um, before I met you, I was um, a child care director um, and all of 2020. And then I found myself unemployed at the end of 2020. <laughs> and I um, finally saw your ad, even though I saw it the whole year before, I finally saw it with my eyes and like, oh, yep, let me join in. And so that was like February of last year. So. Can we pause right there? Because it was interesting. I've asked you your story many times. And in the past, early, early on, you used to say I was let go from my job in 2020. Did you hear your language? I became unemployed. Did you hear that language change? Oh, yeah. No, I didn't even realize it. <laughs> it's actually really interesting because before the story, as you were living through it in the very moment, was I got let go, right? You have literally changed the narrative, which is so interesting. You live through the exact same thing, but you changed the nar narrative and it's your power. I became unemployed. Unemployed to you is a, is a kinder word than let go because you're no longer holding on to that power, right? Yes. It's like wow. letting go. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> interesting, right? Right. Yes. Yes. It's been it's a very mind shift this week for me too. Like I'm telling you, support Saturday last Saturday was really good. So oh. I feel like there was like a weight kind of lifted off of me last week. So last weekend. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So you were in a uh, child care director and all of 2020, and then they let you go. So you became unemployed and, um, and then you came into my world. Okay. Yes. So fast forward, you came into the free group and what were your first thoughts when you got in here? I, my first thought was like, oh my gosh, I found my people. <laughs> <laughs> I have found my people and, um, it was time. Like I was, you know, I've always wanted to own my own preschool since like the fifth grade. I've always wanted to be a preschool teacher since the fourth grade. And so I was just like, you know, like when I saw your ad, like it finally like clicked, like, hello, like God, you've been showing me this the whole time. And now it's finally like, hello. Hello, this is what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Time for you to move forward, you know. And so yeah. I just finally realized, like, I can do this because I had, you know, I think like I've mentioned before, is I put my dream on this big old pedestal that I thought I was never gonna obtain it. Like it was out of reach. There's no way I'd be able to do it. And so when I found you, I was like, I can. Oh, I can do this. <laughs> well, and you would imagine being a childcare director. I can imagine. Like I've never been in that role from as a boss employee standpoint, but I would imagine that you probably felt a little more secure in your job yes. than perhaps some of the staff who were childcare workers, childcare teachers, right? Like you felt yes. somewhat a little bit more secure during that? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I would have definitely stayed there if I if yeah. you really think about it until who knows when. Yeah. You know, because it is, it's 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 consistency. I have a job. Mm -hmm. I have a, you know, you know, I think a good job. <laughs> you know, but long hours, like extremely long hours, mm. um, working for somebody, building somebody else's dream because it was a franchise. So, you know, it was their dream. This was their business, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm, you know, working my butt off for somebody else. <laughs> yeah. And, and to be indispensable, which right. you would have probably thought like, still like, still a little bit nervous in 2020, like, ah, oh, things are uncertain, you know, but like, would have still assumed like, but I'm good. Yeah. I'm the director. Right. right? Like, no. oh man. So that came as a huge blow. And it was very interesting yesterday in our conversations, we were talking about like, wh why is the mindset shift different when it is okay in our mind for us to go to school for four years or something? Some of us have chosen to, to go to college for two years, four years, however long to go get a degree with the hope, you know, that this degree of spending four years in some field um, will produce uh, income at the end of four years. Right. Right. 
And yet we're not paid in that field for four years for that degree. We just like have, I mean, we have to go, you know, become a barista or become like some random other job to get money during those four years. And so how is like, I was really hot. It was really hard for me to like process why we are okay with that four years, inevitably, hopefully producing re revenue. And yet we struggle to like have to spend a certain length of time starting a business and right. not being paid with it. And, and yet we are still indispensable if we have a job and starting a business is still shaky just as if we had a job. Right. Do right. No, it's so, it's, no, it's so true because my, my dad used to get kind of get frustrated with me because, you know, I have a degree in this field and I would take jobs and he's like, but you're not getting paid anything. Why don't you just quit? And I'm like, it's not, I was like, it's not about the money. You know, I've taken so many pay cuts to do what I enjoy doing, you know, finding the right company, you know, I'm like, okay, well, all right, I have to take a pay cut. I will just for my own happiness, you know, type of thing. Cause I enjoy what I do. But at the same time, it's true. Like I'm indispensable, you know, like here I am unemployed and now what, like, you know, but right. now to build my business, you know, I was like, uh, okay, this is, you know, you look at things a little bit differently. Like, should I take this risk, you know, or should I do this? And should I do that? And it, in the bottom line, it's, it's worth it. Like, you know, like to me now I look back, hello, a year now, I just had my anniversary yesterday and yeah. it's worth it. You know, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still my, you know, my own boss. I'm still growing. Um, I, yes, I still do have to substitute, you know, to help supplement my income, but I ha I'm an owner, a preschool owner. I'm seeing my dream in reality right now. And if, it, you know, if I didn't take that leap of faith and join the group, who knows where I would be today. So. Well, and think about if you had just jumped into another job, I know that you're substituting a little bit right now, but you clearly allowed yourself enough time flexibility in your schedule to start building this on the side. So let's say a year from ago, a year ago you didn't begin this process of starting your preschool. And even if you're in the group and you're like, oh, my dream, this someday, this will be cool, but I need to get that full-time job right now, you know? So like, I'm just gonna go get it. And for a year, you'd be in some other job or who knows, multiple jobs, maybe if you were let go, multiple jobs, and you would still have not started. And yet, even though you're saying a year from, a year ago is when you started, and even though you're not where you want to be, where you thought you might be, okay, rather, right. where you thought you might be, you're, <laughs> you have one year's knowledge, experience, like that under your belt and progress, right? Right. Like that, that right there is worth way more than some amount in a bank account because that is stacking upon yourself. Like you're investing in yourself, right? Yes. Oh, most definitely. Cause I was looking for jobs like when I joined the group and it was kind of like, I kept getting either like a, no, we were hiring in internally or I didn't hear anything back. And I was like, I'm no, I'm qualified. Like, hello, I have like 20 something years experience, <laughs> you know, but I realized at the same token, God was saying, no, like you're not going to have another job. Like you're doing this. And I'm like, but I need, I need an income. <laughs> yeah. I get you know, it. And I, actually, it took me still a long time before I even started substituting. I didn't do that mm -hmm. until June um, sure. when I took on that responsibility because I didn't wasn't still getting the enrollments that I needed. Sure. Um, but yeah, I am so glad that because of the fact of my loyalty too. Like, yeah, I own. It's funny because I was offered a director job at because I substituted at different childcare centers, and I've been offered different positions almost I any bet. place you go to. You know, I, I was offered a director job. I was offered teaching jobs. I'm like, nope, nope. <laughs> Especially the director job. I was like, let me pray on that. I was like, you know, mm -hmm. let me see. And God was like, no, you're doing your preschool now. Like you're too loyal. Cause if you were to do that, you wouldn't do yours, you know? So I'm like, okay. <laughs> I understand. Wow. And what a beautiful thing to see your value that you have. I mean, clearly you were offered positions in other places too they knew you were valuable, but would you agree that their value always equaled a certain income amount? Like we value you for this much because that's just how much it pays. 
So therefore that is your worth. That amount of income is your worth. Did you, did you feel like kind of like a difference where like that ceiling was finally removed for you? Yes. Because, you know, even the, like when I was offered that director job, it was more than what I was making at the other place, but it wasn't what I would have wanted moving forward as a director, you know, with right. my years of experience. And I was like, mm, you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not doing this again. I was like, I'm not selling my source myself short of moving forward, even though it was more to yeah. me, I still, I still felt like I was selling myself short because I was going to yeah. be going back into those long hours. I was going to be going back, you know, working for somebody else's dream. Yeah. I was going to be going, you know, putting myself back in the place that I no longer want to be, mm -hmm. you know, and because I'm like, I see it. Like God has given me the vision of what, you know, I have to offer. And I, I was like, I can't do it. I was like, I can't go back and put myself into that situation again. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. I was like, as much as it would be nice to have some consistent money, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't put myself back there. I just like, just the thought of it just makes me, I realized how stressed I was and how I was in a toxic mm -hmm. environment prior that um, I, I just can't do it. I just couldn't put myself in the position to possibly put myself in another toxic environment or another stressful environment because of the short, shortness of staff in these places and have to probably work 12 hours a day again. I'm like, no, mm -mm. <laughs> not doing it. I, I love that. So <clears throat> what you did was you acknowledged mm. that yes, there was a need for some supplementary income while you built your dream. However, you were very careful in what you allowed yourself to work for the supplemental income carefully making sure that it wasn't going to produce the same, you know, 12 hours, insane stress level, your health decreasing because of it. And also kind of, there's like a commitment involved in that, right? I mean, you yes. guys you love these kids. If you would have taken on that full-time job as another director, you would have started that attachment right all over again, which oh, yeah. how do you feel that would have jeopardized or been at conflict with like building your dream? Like what were your thoughts about that? it would have put my preschool on hold uh, because it was just before I was getting ready to open my local. Hmm. So it was coming just before, like I was building up, you know, getting ready. And it was like, it was September of last year and I was going to be opening. No, it was August of last year. And I was supposed to be opening up in September or I think I had just pushed it out to October. And so that meant that I was going to be able to do that. Right. And I'm like, uh, and I was like, no, this is no, that's not, this is not okay because I, because of my loyalty when I places, who knows when I would have gone back to it, Yeah, you know, like who knows? Yeah. Like they even said, Oh, well, you can pay somebody for your online kids. And I'm like, no, yeah. <laughs> you can find somebody else for your online class. And I'm like, and I was like, you know, let me think about it. Let me, you know, see how I feel. And I'm like, Nope, that's, this is not what I'm meant to do anymore. I you know, I'm meant to build my, it's time for me and my dream. And whether I have five kids or two kids, this is what I'm going to do, you know, moving forward. And, um, and just, just believe that eventually that ball's going to continue to roll. And that's going to be like, oh, wait, next thing you know, I'm going to be posting like, I have a wait list. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And very interesting. I want everybody to listen to what she just said. She has already future cast that vision of, I will have a wait list. Yes. Okay. So she's already got the eye on it. It's not just like, do you notice how like her perspective on things isn't like, you know, well, yeah, you know, we're kind of struggling right now. Like I did need to take some extra income. I did need to take a substitute job. You know, um, her perspective on it is I'm building my own dream. We will have a wait list soon. This is, you know, I'm not going back to what that life was before. So the perspective has changed, even though the exact same scenario exists. Beautiful, Sharice. Let's go back to February. So you came into the free group. Okay. This is a year ago. Everybody came into the free group. And at that time, the doors were closed to preschool all-stars. Yeah. Were you a little upset you couldn't get in? Well, no, because I didn't even know about the all-star group. Okay. When I, got I didn't have, know anything about that really at that time. And okay. So we needed to do some marketing apparently to you about preschool <laughs> all-stars. So didn't know, but realized there was this free challenge that was in the free yeah. group. Um, yes. We weren't there with it. It was just kind of sitting there in a guide. Yeah. Yes. Um, I think it's like posted like on, because I read everything. So when you know how the little welcome, welcome, you know, these yes. people, okay. you know, and yeah. so yeah. I followed directions. Yes. And so I read it <laughs> and I made my little like, oh, this is, my name is Sharice, da, 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 you know, and yeah. 
I follow directions. So I saw that and I clicked on that. And then um, I did that. But I did the seven day challenge, not in seven days. <laughs> it was like more like weeks because I was reading your book and oh doing the seven day challenge right. at the same time. And so, um, so it was like mid February, I started it. And then I posted early March. Um, okay. The families. Yeah. So we weren't live with you. We weren't pushing you to get it done in five days. It was like, well, you know, this is interesting and like, okay, get it perfect and get it ready. Yes, <laughs> and <then> exactly. Right? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> okay. And of course we know that without, you know, our full support during a live challenge, sometimes the results of somebody doing it on their own can go well, or it can go so, so, or just not go like it's, it's actually the same, the same thing with a live challenge. It can go right. not or so, so, or well, like it, but the point is like, there's not the energy and the motivation and the momentum during a live challenge like this, uh, that you, you didn't have that. And so did you still kind of feel like you were like in a silo? Do you still kind of feel like you're like Sharice on a, on an Island over here? Yes. I think, and it was myself and I had made a friend, another friend in the group. And so <laughs> her and I kind of like, we're doing it like, I think around the same time together. And so yeah. we kind of like would talk to each other and, you know, and like, you got it, you know, we would encourage each other. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> And so it was kind of like that. Cool. Cool. But yes, it was kind of like we were by ourselves, but of course we didn't really know any better either. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. so you posted your script. Now here's what I need you to do. You, had you built a business before this? Like, were you a daycare owner before? Did you no. do MLM stuff? Like what? I business did. Yeah. Stuff I have done, done like uh, discovery toys. Uh, nice. <laughs> like one of those candle, the candle, I can't think of the name. Yeah. <laughs> I've done, um, I do, um, books I've done. Um, so yes, I've always been an entrepreneurial person yeah. <laughs> as well, you know, but I get it honestly from my parents, right. but so I've tried out different things like that. Yes. Um, but it was nothing to me like, Oh, that's not the right thing. You know, it was just something was missing. It's like, Oh, that's not mm -hmm. it. You yeah. know, but this, I'm like, ah, oh, this is it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I do think like, I always wonder like what, with MLMs and direct sales and stuff like that and network marketing, I always wonder like, you know, are we just kind of like too long, far down this process that the original people, that's the ones who are making all the big bucks. So of course, right. of course they can claim that because that is happening. But so I always feel like there's like still some variable that I still cannot obtain that success. Right. Yes. So this yes. is like, you're, you're in a platform of one, like it's, it's either you're successful or you're not, but it's all based on nobody else's success, right? right. It's, all, it's all you. Yeah. Yes. And it's something too, that I enjoy, you know, other things, you know, with those MLMs, I'm an introvert. That means I have to talk to people like <laughs> yes. just strangers. I don't, that's not me. Like, you know, yeah. like kids, you've, I'm around kids. You would never know that I'm an introvert, but right. <laughs> you totally. know, you want me to go just up to random strangers and like, Hey, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> not not going to happen. You know, Give me one second. I think I, I think I haven't cleaned my, um, my webcam. Give me one second here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe that's a little bit better. We did our tax class the other day and I was like, wow, joy, clean your webcam. <laughs> Didn't know you had such poor reception, Joy. Um, okay, so you posted your script and with all the the butterflies and the, oh, oh what's going to happen from this? Yes. How did you feel in the moment that you posted it? I was so scared. I was shaking, nervous, because for one, you know, it was what shortly after, obviously, I've been let go. So a lot of my teachers and people that I've known that I worked with was on there and the unknown, like what if nobody signs up and, you know, all those, you know, thought process of negative things that could, could happen, yep. you know, and it's like, okay. Um, so you had to psych myself up like, okay. <sighs> all right. One, two, three, push. <laughs> More like that, like, awesome. You know, but I was, I was so nervous because I was just so concerned about how I was going to be received, mm. you know? And so, so Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It's scary putting yourself out there for the first time yeah. to people on your Facebook list, right? Like friends and family, like how, what will they think? Yes. Oh gosh. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. I can do this. So, you know, this is your time. You can do this. <laughs> so I just had to really psych myself up. Like, totally. okay. Yeah. I this. think sometimes it's scarier to put it out to our friends and family than it is to complete strangers, isn't yes. it? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, for sure. Because those are still people that, you know, that we worry are going to say, you know, if it doesn't work out, they'll be like, see, you know, told you. Right. 
<laughs> exactly. But you know, the funny thing is people knew, like if they really know me, they've known that this oh. is something that I've always wanted to do too. So, yeah. you know, so even though I didn't think that at the time, you know, but if people really knew me, they would have known since forever that I've always wanted to own my own preschool, you know, yeah. like, and it's funny because it was always a preschool too, that I've wanted to own. It was never a childcare center when I originally, when I was in fifth grade, it was a preschool. That's awesome. You knew that you were going to cross paths with me since fifth grade. I love it. Right? <laughs> okay, hold up, hold up. What year was fifth grade for you? Should we? Oh okay, we won't go. Gosh. There. I was like, going to be like, okay, well, in that year, I was doing this. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, we'll get, we'll just we'll track. Okay, so you posted, and then, of course, we weren't live, but you posted. What were the results? I got four students in, in little over 24 hours. Whoa. That's crazy. Four students. So, I mean, just even one student, at, the fact of posting it is period, like mm -hmm. a huge accomplishment because like you're finally taking that first real step into the world. But one student, it would even just be like, it's real. And then four students, when you first got that first person being like, yes, I want to do this. How do I pay? Like what was right. going on inside of you? It was funny because I actually had two like on the same time. Because <laughs> when I did my yeah. live, I remember saying, oh my gosh, I got to get one. I got two students. Right. And so it kind of happened in conjunction of each other, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, wow. And, and at that time, I think I still had those two in the queue. I yeah. think if I remember correctly from my live. And so I was like, wow, you know, it's like amazing because three of the four kiddos, I only knew one family. The other three, mm -hmm. I had no clue where they came from or who mm -hmm. posted somewhere or how they saw it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. And that's the thing. Like some people might be people, you know, and then most likely it's going to be people you don't know. Cause what happens is when we post that script, we, all of our likes and comments and shares and stuff actually pushes it past your friends and family list into their friends and family. Right. right. So we jump, we jump because, it, you know, it's a little bit of people that would see your post, but with, when we add all this engagement, it jumps past that. And that's yeah. the beauty of the script. Yes. Yeah. It was, it was phenomenal. I'm like, Oh, I'm, I'm actually doing this. <laughs> okay. So you started with your online preschool with your four yes. students. Um, now interesting. You've posted in April and did you get results in April? No, I think people were really confused because it was like, I think like three or four weeks in between. And so they're like, yeah. wait, didn't you just do this? <laughs> right. Should you be super you know, excited like, again that you're doing this? Or <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, like, so I think it was just like, I mean, people did share and they did comment, but nothing, you know, no bites. And I just think it was just because it was so close together yes. that, you know, like, Hmm, we don't know what's going on here. Like, okay. <laughs> but it was fine. It was, you know, it's okay. It was still, yeah. it was still the point of just getting my name out there. You know, that's how I looked at it. So. I love this. So can you still, even with getting zero signups, is it still beneficial to post the script and complete? Oh, yes. The oh, yes, for sure. Because it's the, the thing is, it's not really about the students. It's about yourself. Oh. And it's about it's about you knowing that, OK, you're taking that leap of faith in your business, because without doing that one step, you probably will never do your business. Because. <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. And so that's how I kind of like looking back, you know, on it. If you don't do that stuff like, oh, I'm not, I can't do this. I can't do this. You know, you're not taking the chance on yourself. Mm. And so it's basically taking a chance on yourself that this is your dream and you can move forward because it's not about the students. It's about yourself and getting over that initial fear of putting yourself out there because you have to be able to put yourself out there in order to get the students at some point. You know, because you have this is your way of advertising for free, you know, and getting yourself out there and letting people know that you're serious, you know, about what you're going to do. So that's kind of how I look at it. <laughs> that, is, that is like epic. Post in the comments. It's not about the students. It's about yourself. I love that. So even though April didn't quite result in sign up, still was very beneficial. We went through the summer. You were still gaining knowledge of like how to be a great online preschool teacher, still showing up. Now, how did you get your local students? Because you started a local preschool in August. Tell us really quick what that journey was. Well, break down to break free. <laughs> ah, okay. tell, tell everyone what that is. It is, oh gosh, it helps you so much on the basis of figuring out where your roadblocks may be for yourself. 
you know, and, you know, turning your thought process from those negatives to those positives. And you helped me realize it was like, you kind of asked me, why can't you have your local preschool? Cause I had all these reasons on why I can't do oh local. My gosh. I just remembered, like you just put me in that exact moment. You had a dog, you still have a dog. Yes. And you're like, I can't have a preschool because of my dog. And I said, serious? Like, this is the only thing. Oh, I can help you with that. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny because you helped me then. And then you even like, it was like, I've been thinking about this. Like, you like gave me, like, you even DM me like a message as well. <laughs> it's like, Sharice, there's no reason why you can't do this. You know? And so I was like, okay. And then, you know, just... And the funny thing is, is because I wanted a location. I didn't want to do it in my home either. I didn't, because that's not what I envisioned, you know? That's like, no, I never want, you know, it's smaller than what I envisioned, yeah. you know? But everything was pointing to starting where I was at, yep. you know? Um, that's what I kept getting. It's like, you need to start where you're at. Like, uh, you need to start where you're at. And I'm like, okay, what does that mean? <laughs> and it meant starting in my home. <laughs> right? It means exactly what it means. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love that. And so, so yeah. And so from that time on, I started to just flip things around and, you know, paint it and just started getting things here and there. And mm -hmm. I mean, I was supposed to start in September, but I didn't paint in time. And I was like, cause I have to paint <laughs> I'm like, because yeah. if I want to get little hands on the wall, I need to be able to wipe them off, <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. you know, and build or paint. You can't do that. Yeah. Um, and then I opened in October with one child. Um, and then December, I got a second child. Um, and then February, I got a third child. And so now I'm at three kids and I have a tour for two more on Tuesday. Oh, girl. And you know, perfect <laughs> sign up formula. So you're going to, yes. you're going to get them locked in. That's awesome. So yes. what she's referring to is breakdown to break free. It's a three hour workshop, um, that you go through if you're an annual preschool all-star member and it it's mindset. It goes deep into what you thought was a roadblock and it like, nope, it's not a roadblock anymore. Actually, it's going to propel you forward. And that's what she was saying. It was like, she thought I can never do local preschool because of this, 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 I can't do it in my home. And had just basically said, these are all the reasons why I can't do it. And I was like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're like, um, let's flip that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I oh, am yeah. doing a local preschool. Okay. Right. So, and this is what I want everybody to know guys. So here's the thing. Fast forward today, we're April. Okay. She only had one student in October, right? So she's trying to get this preschool going. She finally enrolls one student. I remember those posts, Sharice. I remember the posts of like your one student, how excited you were, but also I could also imagine a little bit of letdown perhaps of like, but it's just one student like, and what about his friends? And you know, should I, am I making that much money for one student? But the thing is you have built a preschool, you're building a brand, you're building yourself as a teacher, you're building confidence, like you're building so many other things that allowed you to get your second student, your third, and soon to be on Tuesday, your fifth now, right? Because we're going to mm -hmm. add two more to that. That would have never happened had you said, you know what, after a month of that teaching that one kid, it's not really working out, you know, like right. it's, did you think, did you ponder maybe possibly closing and, and maybe just, re, you know, no, I was just trying to figure out why can't I get more kids? <laughs> I love that. The perspective. You know, I really, honestly, like I was going to teach the one kid, you know, I'm like, okay, I got the one kid. I'm like, yeah, yes, it's not enough, but I'm like, I got to keep doing this. And yeah. I just got to figure out, okay, what's the roadblock for me, preventing me from moving forward. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, it wasn't an option. Like quitting was not an option. Um, gosh, because I enjoyed what I do. Like this is the dream. Like I'm finally living it. And it's like, I have to do this. Like whether it's just one kid or yeah. not, I have to move forward with this one kid because eventually there's going to be another one. You yeah. know, it's just a point of time because, and it was a, it definitely was a mind battle because in my area, we have a lot of houses coming up. You know, and I knew, like, I remember saying, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be full. No problem. I was like, people are going to be, I was like, we have, there's not very many preschools out here. There's not very many yeah. child cares out around me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I should be full. No, no problem. Right. So that was what was bothering me is because I just assumed automatically sure. that I was going to be full like that yes. because of the fact. But who knows? 
nobody knows Discovery Play Preschool. Like, hello, there's no sign on my front door. There's no signs, you know, <laughs> driving by. So, you, yeah. you know, like I have to change my mindset too, you right. know, on the basis of, wait, it's taking time for you to build the brand. Mm. You know, you continue to post, you know, I'm not that great at posting, but I do my best, yeah. you know, and eventually just trying to figure out how to get myself out there, you know, more. Um, and, you know, sometimes I'm good at multitasking, but sometimes I'm not because I'm busy with, you know, I substitute Monday, Wednesday, Friday after class. And so, mm -hmm. you know, my time is very limited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, it's just, but yeah, quitting wasn't an option. It never crossed my brain. I love that. I love that. So interesting that she didn't, she, she didn't think about quitting the preschool. She just said to herself, you know what? Okay. If I need to add a little bit of income because maybe the one student is enough. Well, how should I do that in a way that still allowed me to grow my preschool in a way that I can step away? You know, substituting is a way to step away. I just saw that there was uh, some state, and I don't know if it, I don't know if it was passed into law, but I know it was definitely like right there, super close. They're like, hey, substitute teachers for the district can now be anyone with a high school diploma. So, oh, wow. yes, <laughs> uh, cafeteria workers, school bus drivers, anybody with a high school diploma, like. It was like right there, either has passed or or passed or whatever. So the point is, is that think different, get different results. Yes. Yes, definitely. Yeah. You. It is about, I think that's why I think yesterday I posted in our group, it's about a mind shift. I was like, you may not mm -hmm. see like, a you know, progress or feel the progress. That's because you're changing your thinking to match up with what you're actually called to do, yeah. you know, and, you know, that's what's important. It's about yourself because this process is changing you. So that way you can be the person that you're meant to be. Yes. Oh, so. I love that. Is there anything you'd like to say to everybody uh, as they go to bed tonight, um, as they have, it feels a little bit like Christmas morning, right? right? Christmas night. I say feel the fear and do it anyway. You, you have to feel the fear and do it anyways. You have to have the confidence in yourself that for one, that this is what, if you know that you know that you know that this is what you wanna do, you have to feel that fear and do it anyways, because you're, it's not going to hurt you. You're not going to be hurt by posting it. You're, you're just feeling that fear because it's real, you know? And so you kind of have to feel it and then push forward through it because on the other end of it, you're going to be proud of yourself regardless of the results, yes. because it's about getting your, it's about yourself. That's what, you know, like I said earlier, it's about you, you know, and what you want into it's your first step for the rest of your life. That's your first step, basically. <clears throat> I love that. Like, yes, first step for the rest of your life. Sharice, you're awesome. Thank you for being here, my you're friend. Thank you for jumping up on, uh, you know, short notice. You're awesome. All, All right. right. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.